Hey guys, RTW Dudes here, back at the battlefield on the from the next for the next part of this this battle of my Carthaginian campaign. This is a battle where I am being besieged by the Scipii Romans. I find it funny how in like the real time in the real stuff. Um, find it funny that Rome was actually the one that destroyed everything pretty much and became the world power, but in this, <laughs> in Rome Total War, Gaul can become the total power if you really want it to make it. If you really want to make it the real power, you can. <laughs> But that's really hard because Gaul is horrible faction. The only thing really good in that faction is his archers, pretty much. So <clears throat> you can see my army down in the bottom screen. I have one, two, three, four, five, six Hiberians, three, four, five, six, seven round shield cav, one town militia, and my general's bodyguard. General. I don't know what his name is, though. Does he have archers? They kind of look like archer job. The enemy has broken through your walls. Now we must kill them in the street. Okay, let's kill them in the street then. For that is what I hope will happen. Try to get most of these guys in bottlenecks, because... Uh, it's kind of... somewhat hard to defeat Hestadi and Principes. With Hiberians, with Hiberian infantry. So let's wait till they get there. Oh boy, um, I think there might be better. Uh, come on, rally my boys, boys. I really don't know how this is going to go. I can't use my cav very effectively in this battle. I have so much of it bunched up here. I'm just waiting if they get past all my infantry, which the likability of them doing that is very high. I think they're going to just I think they're going to be able to take this town. Darn it. Where's my temple of Baal? Baal. No. Where's Baal? Where's my temple of Baal? I don't know, but help us, Bell. Help us, Bell. Help us, please, please help us. We need you. Bring my general back a little bit more. I'm trying to hold these principes in a bit of a bottleneck. It seems to be working because I'm kind of destroying them. Except. They do route right here. And they did good for what they were supposed to do. AKA hold the enemy as long as you can. Try not to die right away. That's what their job was. Rally. So these guys should hold out for a very long time in the bottleneck. Once I slam her in the bottleneck, they should they shouldn't last too long. This town militia oh jeez. This town militia and my Hiberian Well this town militia is actually lasting a long time. They're not doing too bad. You might have heard on my posting of a guy named the NTW dude. Yeah, that's all. That's also me. But I 
kind of was hoping that I would get Napoleon Total War. But since I didn't, it's not working as well as I hoped. Catch him in the bottle neck. Come on, come on, come on. They shouldn't do too bad at this. Okay, don't let them throw their pila. No! That just like. Mm. I hate it when they. Oh, well, they do have archers. Like, two, four, three, six, nine, nine archers. So I'm just marching my guys, just my cavalry down, and they seem to be doing a very good job. Why are they still hitting the down the walls? The wall. Oh, how is this happening? I mean, how's that going for my guys? How many units of cavalry is down here? Not enough. They need about 38 more men. So this is what I'm going to have to worry about. This little huge march of... Hey, I didn't even... Whoa! Hmm, that's interesting. This is the march of the Hastati and his face. What is it, mostly? Hastati? Okay, see what you can do, boys. Don't let me down. These guys are doing great. I think I'll just toss some more of in here once I really need them. Fast forward a little bit. And then throw the rest of that cab unit in there. Now how are these guys actually doing? They've destroyed most of the enemy army. And let us see if we can destroy the secretary unit. No, we destroyed one of them. Let's see if we can get the other one on its knees. Come on, Jenny. Get out there. If I was just doing an online battle, I would literally just have thrown my general in. But since this is like lose your general, not 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 a good thing. I'm trying to keep him a little safer. Or actually a lot safer. I love it when they do a chain route and there's still so many of them left. You can just chase them down and destroy them all. And it's like, sweet, because they don't fight back. <laughs> Come on, kill them. Oh, jeez. This is just destroying all my round shields. He'll die eventually. And hurry, Will. He sacrificed himself rather than leaving his men to a dignified defeat. Run, 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 run. Okay, so he killed like a crazy amount of my men there. But overall, it was way better for me because I won pretty much. I'll be surprised if he can actually win this battle back. Which I'm sure he won't. These Veltes came back from routing. Although these Hiberian infantry are just going to stay there and not let them attack and win. Look at all this Hastati. When my round shield cav hit right here, cavalry is really good in these small spots because they can just own everything. Okay, what possibly does he have left that's still alive? Or not routed. My goodness, freaking heck. One of them will make it. 
Oh my goodness. Let's triple speed it. It's ridiculous. So this is one little tiny unit of Valkyries. So where's my cow? Oh, over here. Kill them all. Come on. Oh, jeez, that was a good battle. Let me do a couple more things here. I don't know how much time I have left because I only have 15 minutes. Liburnium. Lilabama. <laughs> Can't really pronounce that right. Um, end of term report. Most advanced faction. Egypt. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Trait increase. Huh, that's good. Recruitment report. Okay. Ceasefire in effect. The House of Julia in Gaul? Isn't the House of Julia just supposed to, like, destroy, like, all of them? It's kind of weird. Okay, so. Public order is becoming low here, and without action, there may be a riot. Check the settlement details scroll for <sighs> underlying causes. You may need to construct some new buildings to avert trouble. In the short term, increasing the garrison size should improve law and order. Well, that's all for this this second movie. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'll just end this turn, see what's happening, and then I'll put this thing off. New family member. Interesting. Construction, recruitment, diplomatic information. Oh, the Julia is at war with the Gaul now, and House of Julia is at war with Dacia now. So Carthage is overall... Well... If the House of Julia can just come down here, because I know right here and stuff, that's Gaul. If the House of Julia can kind of attack some stuff up here, I will slowly but surely make my way up, 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 and destroy most of that place. Let's do some farming, mines. That'd be good. Farming and mines. That's great. Okay, so end of the turn, and <clears throat> I will. Oh, ceasefire. Yes, why not? I don't care. Uh, I don't really want to fight the Romans yet. No need for more fighting against the Romans. Okay, so, oh my goodness. Leader's dead. Faction announcements. That's okay, okay, okay. Diplomatic information. Whoa! Armenia and Pontus, Armenia and Egypt, and Macedon and Thrace are allies. Um, the House of Julii and Gaul, the House of Brudii, and Carthage, which is me, have declared ceasefire. The following factions have become clinic kingdoms abandoning their independence and sovereignty, Egypt and Armenia. So, that's, thank you for watching this video, and this is RTW Dude, putting away for a little bit.